Hey, what's up guys, it's Nick, back with another quick iPhone tip that could totally save your day. Okay, real talk, you probably don't know this one, but trust me, you need it. Ever tried updating your iPhone and it just gets stuck? Or maybe your phone skips the iOS version you actually want? Or worst case, you're stuck with no computer and no clue what to do next? Yeah, I've been there. So today, I'll show you three easy ways to upgrade your iPhone. Each one fits a different situation. It's a must-know trick, and honestly, it could totally save your day. Let's go. So first off, there's the classic move, updating directly on your phone. Normally, we just head to General and Settings and go to Software Update. To get the new version, just make sure you've got solid Wi-Fi, enough battery, and some free storage. Oh, if you want to get developer beta, you can check out my last video. But as we can see, not all versions show up over the air. Let's say you're rocking an iPhone 11 on iOS 15, and you want to jump to iOS 17. But for some reason, your phone only offers iOS 18. That's when your computer becomes the MVP. Using iTunes, Finder, or a specialized tool, not only can you update your phone directly with it, but you can also upgrade to the exact version you want. Even if you've got the latest iPhone, this trick might save you someday if you're chasing a specific version for performance or compatibility. So if you are using specialized tool, like Reboot, you can upgrade to the version you want directly, which is like the easiest way. But if you want to use Finder or iTunes, you need to download the official software for IPSW.com for your phone. And then you need to restore the firmware with Finder or iTunes, which unlike the Reboot, this may lose all your data, so you need to do a backup before. Now let's say your phone gets stuck mid-update, or it's just like painfully slow and you don't have a computer nearby, you can actually just use another iPhone to help. Yup, seriously. So if your main device is acting up, just grab a second iPhone, maybe from a friend, and get it fixed or updated. You can just keep clicking the crash phone while it's in the recovery mode, or stuck in an Apple logo, until you see the Apple logo blinks. Then you can follow the on-screen guide to system recovery your iPhone, which also update your phone to the latest firmware, no laptop, no cables, no problem. And you might be wondering, Nick, why bother learning all this? Well, because you never know what situation you'll be in. Maybe you're trying to upgrade to a very specific iOS version. Maybe your phone freezes halfway through and your MacBook's at home. Maybe you're just sick of staring at a loading screen. Either way, you've got options. And that, my friends, is the real power move. If this helped you out, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, and happy upgrading.